Eggers. Um, I already forgot what my controls are. Okay. Um, so yeah, we did another run. I showed a little bit of it at the end of the last video. Uh, let's see, how many characters did I get? I've got Kane. Uh, the stapler is a repentance item. I don't know that. Anyway, Zizel, you got Kane, Azazel, and Lazarus. Lazarus. So here's what they do. Um, Kane is from the original game. He's pretty simple. He is slightly faster. Got one less heart, which doesn't really matter. Comes with a luck fit, which increases his luck. Um... I don't know if you have to unlock this, or if this is the case by default, but I, uh, at least at some point. Because, believe it or not, characters have abilities you have to separately unlock sometimes. Oh my god. Um, uh, he has, like, a thing where pills will always be good, I think. Interesting. That might just be a factor of the lock, I'm not sure. Maybe. You can also unlock having him start with, um, like, what is it? I think it's the... It's like, it's like a lockpick or something. It's a, it's a carryable item, like the... Um, I, don't, I can't think of which one you got last time, but ah. it, it's he's also the one of those which lets you uh, pick chests for free. Um, All right, I think. Um, anyway, then and he also have, starts uh, with starts with a key. So attack power is high and negative one heart. Is that like just a black heart or? As Azel starts with three black hearts, um, I can't remember if he can gain red hearts. I'm pretty sure he can. There's a lot of characters that simply can't, and whenever you right. would, you would just get a temporary one instead. There's, it's a mixed bag with this. this one looks Lazarus is basic. Lazarus is uh he has a funky gimmick, but it doesn't really it's not that interesting. He's kind of shit, but he starts with an extra life, and then when he dies, he okay. comes back with slightly better slash different stats. Many people will just instantly kill him or like you know make use of a sacrifice room or something to go into his better form. <laughs> yeah, it, look, it looks like he's just the same as Isaac here. Yeah, no, he, I think he also eventually gets, like, a special item he starts with or something. Azizel um, is definitely the most interesting of these. Um, yeah. But... I don't know if I want to go into anything too crazy yet. I guess I'll just go with this. Um, okay. Kane's fine. Oh, no, the video's already too long. <laughs> okay. Hmm. <laughs> I don't remember if this came up last time, but if you ever end up with any, like, excess money and you have a chance to deposit it in the shop before the end of your run, it's usually a good idea. Yeah. Because um, there's, like, a machine in there. Yeah, I forgot about the, the cash register. Um, because there... Yeah, I was told it, that, uh, you know, in the last run I got the dollar bill... Oh, I forgot that was the boss. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I guess we'll just fight this guy with nothing. Yeah, that's fine. But yeah, I got the dollar bill... And apparently, that's like one of the rarest items in the entire game, and it, it is, you know yeah, it, it yeah. did absolutely nothing for me because <laughs> it was late in the I, run anyway, I, and like, you know, this is a sh I like knew, I, I knew it was a rare item. I didn't know it was like that rare, but yeah, I come to think of it, I've only seen it a couple times. Yeah, Borax said he's only ever seen it twice in like a thousand hours of gameplay, <laughs> so that's kind of ridiculous. Is it normal to only start with two hearts? Oh, uh, that's Kane. For Most some, characters actually I, start with two or less. I for think. some reason, I th forgot already that... Like, I knew there was the one character that had the same stats as Isaac, and I thought that was the one I picked. That was... No, that was Les. Yeah. It was El Pity. <laughs> yeah. It is... Canon that El Pity, the L stands for Lazarus. I, where did I say that again? <laughs> I think it was on the server. No, no, I no, I remember. It was Spons in um. Four pills, okay. And yeah. it also gets you one step closer to the yes mother transformation. Um. All right. Uh, nice. I can't tell what that did. Two soul hearts. Oh, okay. I wasn't even looking at the hearts. One of the best pills. Tries this. Uh, says. I think it makes makes the game run slower. slower. Yeah, not central. That yeah. will, uh, should, that will, it, yeah, open the map, it, um, also should reveal the secret room when you are next to it. Our energy. Yep. Alright. Oh, and super secret, I didn't really, yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. It's a shame you got that balls of steel thing now, because if there's, like, um, some way you could, uh... Hello, Marge. Oh yeah, it actually didn't reveal the map to you, it just... It, it just shows you, it just opens the green bolts magically. Oh, okay. For the, for the floor. Yeah, March Simpson, yeah. Yeah. 
I, I These am... enemies are super boring to fight when you're in a low level and you have to just shoot one tier at a time like this. Yeah. Honestly, these rooms are pretty badly designed, I think. I don't know. Oh, be careful, that uh, dark teal one will uh, explode when it dies. So yeah, I kind of had a feeling. I would probably approach the top one instead. Because you're being shot at by two. Yeah, that's fine. Because you're like being shot at by two. No, uh, I was I was alive. I don't know what that meant. Oop. Hmm? Did you see it? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I've only got one bomb. There was a bunch of shit in the previous room. Uh, that's fair, yeah. Pauses all uh, enemies in the room. Touching I don't enemy. think that's a very good item. It's you can. Do you see the little green one? That's the that's quality. its rating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. The game I've only got one coin it. to re-roll with, but uh, I might be able to get more in another... Let me let me go look at the other room that had stuff in it. I don't remember what was in there. There was a pill, soul heart, soul and... heart a random card. Uh, you could get the soul heart and the card if you dropped your bomb right in front of the shop thing. Alright. The world. Okay, keep that until next floor. I didn't read what it did. It will uh, reveal the floor map to you. Okay. Um, By the way, go down and then... Yeah. Oh, well there you go. Plenty of reroll money. Nice. And... Yeah, this Shane, will it's, pull it's a... from the soul hearts, right? Yeah, it's really unfortunate. Um, It would have been nice to be able to... I should have not picked up that extra heart. I wasn't thinking about it. Yeah, it's fine. That's uh, okay. There's a small um, chance of dropping coins, so... I'll re-roll that item a couple times then, I guess. Yep. See what happens. Now, here's the thing. is Tinted Rocks have a decent chance of just dropping another bomb, so maybe it would have been better to try our luck with that, but... Oh, no, it's Lost Fly. Moves along, walls, obstacles, jails, contact. Um, it's like... Okay. Yeah. Nothing special. <laughs> re-roll machines are pretty rare. I would probably re -roll, keep re-rolling. That is a really good item. It says three, no, it's gonna... say. Fire rate multiplier... Wait, so it goes down, Fire but I shoot four at yeah. once. Okay. Yeah. I see. Okay, yeah, that seems pretty good. I really like that one. Alright, don't have any more bombs. Don't want to lose my no, health on the thing, so, yeah. Let me check how the sacrifice rooms work, because they have specific things at every instance. Um, what do you mean? I'll explain. So the room with the spike on the floor where you can deliberately sacrifice your life. Should I just use if my card it, or save it for later? Uh, I'll see you. You'll probably find another card here, though, so I would say just use it now. The world. The world. The world. <laughs> yeah, so sacrifice rooms, you can use the spikes up to 12 times, and they have different uh. like rewards at each one. I'm not going to go over every single one of them, but if you hit the spikes three times, there's a... You can see right there, it says one out of yeah. 12. The first time you hit this, you'll get a 50% chance of one coin. The third time, you have a two-thirds chance of getting uh, an increased chance of an angel room over the devil room for the current floor. Um, and if you've already taken the deal with the devil when you do it, it can actually then cause it to spawn an angel room to replace it, so you can do both Weird. of them. Okay. I thought that they always just gave you items straight off the bat. I didn't know it, it impacted luck, stuff like that. Oh, and then it also says, as of Afterbirth, if you've not yet encountered a Devil or Angel room, I guess this run, it will guarantee the room encountered on the same floor as the Sacrifice, if any, to be an Angel room. <laughs> okay. And then the other big one is uh, the sixth hit. Oh no, there's a few here. The sixth hit has a one-third chance of teleporting you to the Angel room even if you've taken a Devil Deal um, on previous floors. But if you've taken a Devil Deal on this floor, it will just take you there. One third chance again. Uh, if you hit it seven times, you have a one third chance of getting a random Angel Room item. The Butterbean. Oh good, I don't remember what that one does. Oh, and if you hit it 12, if you hit it, sorry, 11 times, you can fight Gabriel, which is one of the angels. Drops a piece of uh, the key required for one of the endings. I see. And if you hit it 12 times or more, then you have a 50% chance to teleport directly to the dark room, which is a, a chapter 6 floor. <laughs> well, that was a lot of shit. Yeah. 
You know, I don't expect you to remember any of it. I if, will if remember ever, none of it. But if ever you're at a point where you have a shit ton of health and, me and or means of healing it back, then we might want to consider trying for some of those, but... What the fuck? <laughs> and it does take a full heart to step on those spikes, so... Yeah. Ooh, very nice. You think I'll reach that rock if I put a bomb here? Maybe, but probably not. But... We'll see. Nope. Nah. Well, let's go for it. I don't know more. exactly what the already is. committed, so. Yeah. Not yeah. bad. Yeah. Uh, so I've got the cursed room and I've got the sacrifice room. I'm not sure if I should bother with either of them. Um, I will also point out if you go, if you look at the map, do you see that the secret room is adjacent to the cursed room? That means that you can use two bombs to get into the cursed room for free if you want. And if you're True. going, well, if you're going into the secret room anyway, then it's probably worth it. Yeah, okay. Um, well, I can't afford the map. I don't need it for this floor anyway. Unless that is for every floor. Uh, it actually is, yeah. That sounds kind of useful. It was just um, show you the shape of the floor. I guess I'll grab this. Yeah. Alright, it's like here, right? Uh, no, I think it's at... Let me go back down. Do you see how it's one, two, three, four tiles up? So you only want to be a little, like, a, a, a spit, yeah, yeah. I think you were a little further down before, so. Uh, Good room. Yeah, it's it's looking real useful. Uh, that sucks. Oh, well. It's just, yeah. The mushrooms had a small chance to drop in something. Oh, do, do not touch that. No? Do not touch okay. that. Okay, uh, let me read it. <laughs> Charged wave of five tiers, taking damage. Teleports you to a random room. It's one of, Good. I think, two cursed items that are really, really bad to pick up. Essentially, right. it will make you fire... You won't be able to hold to just be like, blip, blip, blip. Yeah, you have to it hold like, to do a charged attack, right? Yeah, you have to hold, charge it up, let go. And if you're hit while you're charging, teleports you to a random room. And if you teleport out of a room before you've cleared it, and you come back, the enemy has already spawned. So yeah, that you sounds kind of shit. You have to start going around without, um, <laughs> without any... Um, Without getting hit, basically, while charging, which is really annoying. Ooh, this is a good item. Just damage and knockback, okay. Yeah, it's, it's simple, but... Yeah. Always nice to see. I, t I tell you, the runs where you get a bunch of, like, you know, funky gimmick items that do cool things, ah. but, like, no stat upgrades, those always suck, because you take forever to kill stuff, especially on late floors. Right. It's also fun whenever your tears get just replaced. Room for all fries. Okay, sure. Um, I guess just boss then. I yep. don't have any more bombs. Yeah, that's perfectly I, good for, I think. Yeah, I'm a little annoyed that I don't have enough coins to buy the map, but oh well. Yeah, maybe the maybe the boss will drop some. Okay, so be careful when you when you um these things actually have separate health bars. Yeah. Oh, the the boss mod is showing it. Okay. When you, if you kill the big one first, the little one will start like chasing you and flying around. So you'll have to like constantly move. So I actually recommend trying to kill the little one first. Okay. I think the big one's behavior changes, but not in like a very yeah. This one's like it basically just turns into lust, but worse. So the baby is really this. Well, it's not that. Okay. Right, so. Double room. I would empty heart container. Taking it. damage is a chance to spawn a red heart. I it's mean, a good that's, thing, yeah. yeah. There's no downside to it, right? Yep. No downside. Okay. Just grab this and then yeah. heal up. Yeah. Uh, now, yeah, so if you go in there, you'll you'll fall for your chance for an angel room, but since you have a good number of soul hearts, I think it's not a bad idea. Yeah, that's that's fine with me. Alright. Uh, Entering a new floor drains all your red hearts, grant, grant speed and damage bonuses for each heart loss. That's a very high-risk, high-reward item. Yeah. Um, I don't like it very much. Cursed Baby um, is like, okay. It leaves crew. Oh, this Baby, sorry. Yeah. yeah, so it will float around behind you, and it will leave damaging, like, AoE. I mean, that's um, not bad. Well, 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 well. Before it's... you decide to take it, um, I will say, because you've entered a devil room... Um, I've you have, forfeited like, a... the chance for an angel room, right? No, you'll only forfeit it if you buy something. If you okay. just poke your head in and then leave, then you'll still have a chance at angel rooms later. I guess I could but... wait and hope for that, then. Whereas, if you... There's a coin up there, by the way. What? God, I couldn't okay. see that shit at all. <laughs> um, if you um, 
Yeah, whereas if you if you deigned not to go into the devil room at all, you didn't even look, then you were guaranteed for the next um, room that you spawn to be a uh, angel room instead of a devil one. I didn't register that. I'm sorry. I'm like trying. Okay. I, I was trying to balance like reading this text again and listening, and I can't okay. fucking multitask because I, I I'm seeing this and I'm honestly not seeing this as a bad thing because if I have a buffer. You usually yeah, get. If you, red if you heart lose drops. the buffer, you can't get rid of this item. Yeah, I, you'll okay. start a floor with a half a heart every time. Yeah, so. yes, okay. Um, so if, if so. You, basically the the gist is, if you take a devil deal, you're locked out of angels for the run generally. Um, whereas if you poke in and leave, it's sort of fifty fifty. You could get either. If the devil room spawns and you ignore it, the next thing will will be an angel room. I see. Okay. Um, I think I'll just roll the dice and see if something better shows up later. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry to everybody for having to hear that explanation twice. I'm fucking horrible at retaining information. Yeah, I can't be too. And this ah. game has a lot of... Oh yeah, those, those can be nasty. Yeah, depending on the game, I, um... Sometimes like that. Also, this game, yeah, just this game just has a lot of stuff to, to learn about it. Yeah. Very, uh... Very... I don't want to say complex. Yeah, like, each individual thing is not that complicated, it's just, there's a lot of shit to learn. Oh good, there's the 15th coin that would have been nice last floor. <laughs> I thought I only had, like, 9 coins, where the hell did I get more? Yeah. Well, remember, that was the coin you couldn't see. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, Worth looking? No. Okay. Regular chests, The chest, plain uh, chests, yeah. It just dropped, like, a couple of, uh, pickups. There's a cursed room, I guess. Or sacrifice, whatever it's called. Yeah. That- Spikes is sacrifice room, spiky door is curse room. The name doesn't really matter. Yeah. Come on. I feel like, uh, my shots are, like, never hitting anything. <laughs> mm. They have a kind of momentum to them. Spawns a pill, changes bad pills into good pills, like permanently, or is this a item that you permanently? Just... Okay. Yeah, any pills and machines and IV bag give more coins. That's not bad. Um, yeah, it's a perfectly reasonable thing. I don't know if it's worth fifteen, but I mean, uh, yeah, I, I guess. I'll probably find Ooh. something later. Actually, on now that, that I think up. about it, I think. I think I mentioned that Kane might just have good pills anyway. By again, I don't know if you have to unlock that. So. Oh. Yeah. Well, I would say I guess we'll find out, but now I bought the item, so. <laughs> Let us know if we have made a horrible mistake. Be yeah, careful these exploding doors. You generally just want to be careful being next to an enemy when it dies, because many uh, of them do stupid things on death. It's annoying. Good room. <laughs> oh boy. <coughs> Two times and Isaac's damage plus ten all enemies cost one coin. It's a zero charge. You can just use it every screen. Costs yeah, it, one yeah. coin. Yeah. Mm. I, mean, I mean, I don't have an item anyway, up. but yeah. yeah. I don't know if these have a chance of dropping shit or not, so I could I just be wasting so. my time. I always do that. <laughs> oh stuff my anyway. god! <laughs> they really wanted me to have flight on this floor. Yeah. Flight is not that hard to get, but often it will just not spawn anything that gives it to you. There's a few transformations that give it to you, which is nice. Alright, All right. um, I guess that's, you know, I don't have any yeah, bombs, so... Unless you feel like spending a pot to go into the cast room. Not particularly. Alright. <clears throat> ah, yes, you unlock the horseman after beating uh, Mom, I believe. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Does this creep ever fucking go away? Okay. <laughs> When you kill him, he will. Ho, 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 ho. 
So far, this boss has been very Dude, underwhelming. Pe pe pestilence is, uh... Pestilence ain't shit. <laughs> Best th yeah, the best thing about it is the A. There you go, there's a Book of Rev. That's a uh, pretty good bandages. Gives me an orbital, and it can be upgraded. Okay. Yeah, every time every time you fight a Harbinger, they will either drop cube of meat or bullet bandages. Don't have each any bombs, which, can't right, check for other rooms. For other, but they don't stack with each other, so it's annoying. I guess we're moving on. Um, a weird thing about the Harbingers is... Like, so obviously each floor has a list of bosses it can pull from, but if you, if you pull, so for example, you, in Caves 1, you got Pestilence there, um, you can't get, I'm actually trying to think how this works. No, I think that's just normal anyway. I was gonna say that like, oh, you can't Good. get Pestilence again, but I don't think you can get the same boss again on the bottom. I'm guessing the boss this room. is gonna drop a lot of money that I can't reach. Yep. Wow, that's great. I think uh, what I'm thinking of is that if you use Book good. of Rev, then... Yeah, Sagittarius is good. That was something I was going to say about Book of Rev, but it's not relevant right now and you won't remember it, so... Let's not uh, start yeah. talking about stuff you don't even have. <laughs> Let me just do this, because uh, it'll totally help. It's a fairly common item, and it is good. It just has a weird sort of drawback to it. This is a door that only opens if I only have one heart, right? Yep. I forget, is it one red heart or one heart, uh, like, total? Uh, one heart total. What's good, though, is uh, there's a chance of... There's a chance of the room below this being, a uh, um... Hidden room, See, which yeah. might let you sneak in there. If, I'll ever, yeah, if yeah. I ever get any fucking yeah. bombs. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh. Okay. You good should have tried running when there were spikes. Well, we got a bomb. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, bats. I feel like these bats have a silly name, and I can't remember what it is. They're probably like... Cudgeons. Oh. Never mind, I thought- I didn't realize those flies were good. <laughs> uh, shop, I only have three coins. Terse neck mate. Well, they that fucking died instantly. Teleport to the boss room. Alright, no, no easy way for me to find what this thing is called, so I'm just gonna have to scroll through all the enemies. That kind of seemed uh. unbelievable. Some bullet patterns are uh, pretty tricky to deal with. I don't really have any good advice for it. Uh, that is a bombable chest. <laughs> I could probably get it if I put a bomb, like, here. Mm, I wouldn't risk it. I feel like, uh, I've just been okay, getting, cool. like, no resources this run. Like, I've got a couple decent it's items, It's been pretty but, skinny uh, to you, yeah. Yeah. Um, I will say there's a room that you can use two keys to get into. Um, yeah, that I might have that. some stuff. Okay, so the little bats are called One Tooth, and the big one is called Fat Bat. Good. Shut up. <laughs> I like the mulligans just- well actually I guess that one's not a mulligan, that's what, a hive? Yeah. I enjoy the hives just blowing themselves mm. up. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> yeah, charger. So I think in my last run I was like, you know, drowning in money and bombs <laughs> and stuff and just like goddamn i spent all my money on that stupid phd and i haven't found a single pill since then i suppose that's just how it goes um yeah i'll spend two keys to get something three somethings random pill Is that oh it's here okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know uh, if we'll remember to say this when it comes up. We probably will because we have, you know, six cool sayings, but we just have, like, the same few jokes so whenever we're doing this when I was, like, playing the game. We take so, you know, any... Oh, shit. There's we take. Oh. 
Oh no, did I did I psych you into taking it by <laughs> No. That? I just okay. I that wasn't even what I was gonna say actually. I was gonna say the um whenever you get a stat. That's pillar, annoying, I, I was uh, I was trying to hold on to that. I just yeah. fucking bumped the button. Whenever you get a stat downhill, like tears down, it's always tears down. What do you say when you want the tears up? Tears up. <laughs> yeah, hill. Uh that will so, um Alright, yeah. got another shot at a devil room. Guess we'll take a peek. Ooh, brimstone. Brimstone again. <laughs> Is no, the you chest... had before. The oh. chest has a chance of teleporting you. I would not touch it yet. Okay. So, yeah. So what was the deal with we this? Got Is... We got called out about Dead Cat. Um, I will maintain that it was probably not a good idea for you to take it in your run. I did say this is the kind of item that can be very good if you know what you're doing. It's just that it's hard to work with. Um, and I'm, I stand by that and I'm not changing my stance on it. It sets you to one health, to one red heart I should say, and gives you uh, nine extra lives, or eight extra lives I think, I can't remember. Um, yeah, anyway, I'll just grab this, it's good, yep. so. Let's see what the chest does. Oh, no, nothing that we can oh, that is a long charge. Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah, but it's because you have the quad. Yeah. This this is gonna melt through enemies, though. That's the thing. So you just have to. <laughs> you have to have line to be good at dodging. dodging. Yeah. yeah. All right. I've got one bomb. I can spend it on that chest. I can try to find secret. Oh. Oh, you have money. You could probably. Yeah. Get okay. Splits Shit. all by six tiers on the screen into a circle that's of six active. tiers. How would that I work would... for this? Um, <laughs> I feel uh, like it probably wouldn't be worthwhile. Uh, it would split it, but yeah. it, it would be annoying yeah. to work with. I'm now debating, do I want to spend seven coins to maybe it get more bombs? With, it might not be bad with Brim. Um, It's not a bad idea. Let me let me actually check. Oh Was that called tier detonator? It might Bro. have some good synergy with Brim. I don't know. You should be able to sneak up to that. Okay. Yeah, I don't know about this one. Let me it's... let me see. Give me a sec. I'm gonna check how it works with Brim. I'll pause. Uh, okay. Uh, it doesn't work with Brim. <laughs> so... Okay. So good. <laughs> good to know. Um. So yeah, I've got the one bomb. I already forgot Which, if I had anything else I could use it on. There's a couple, you know, decent no, no, spots no. that the <laughs> secret could be in, but eh. Fuck it. We'll just move on. Okay. Yeah, not a bad idea to save your bomb sometimes. Alrighty. I suspect it might have been able to reach that chest if you did it from the top, but yeah, it's okay. I, I wouldn't want to risk it. Okay. I don't remember what prompted that. I want to say maybe going down to one heart or something. Forever. Forever. Two keys for keys. seven bombs. Currently, with the amount of shit I have, I would <laughs> say that's a good deal. I'll wait until I see more of the floor, I guess. Yeah. It's usually good to wait for info. Unless you're trying to, like, go quick. All right. Oh, okay. Eve's unlock method is don't pick up any hearts for two floors in a row. Oh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Kicked his ass. Uh, I would Plus wait. One. to see, I would actually wait yeah. to see if you can make use of this by like spending your heart somewhere because this also fully heals yeah. you. Okay. Like if you get other heart containers, you could spend those hearts and then. Yeah. God, this is this me. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> spectacular. It's also annoying in rooms like this where you can't line up enemies. Blep. <laughs> Blep. Oh my god. Blep. I'm trying to make it like as short as possible. <laughs> well, if you make it short, um, like Brimstone is actually kind of like a DOT. Like yeah. the longer the enemy is in the beam, the more damage they'll take. So if you yeah, cut it's it just off, the it, other like, ones were dying so fast. It just it looked <laughs> funny how quickly I was just like Bleh. funny how. Uh, alright. Oh, uh... What the hell? This is a weird thing. So this changes the way that your attack works. It will... I don't know how this will work with Quad Shot. I think it will probably just make your tears slower or something. I would not recommend it at this time. It can be good in certain situations. 
essentially... The I way feel like I might have used this before, yeah. It's like you shoot a tier and then you just control it. Right? Like you, you It actually just, it just it floats the... around at all times. You don't have to fire it. Hmm. Yeah. That sounds interesting. Does it even work with Brim? Yes. But I suspect that the slow fire speed from your quad shot will cause it to... I mean, I guess I can check. <laughs> Ludovico Technique, by the way, is named after something from A Clockwork Orange, I believe. I see. Uh, Ludovico Tier Movement is de determined by the Shot Speed stat, which I believe is the second one there with the arrows, and it's slow as shit currently, so yeah, you could... It, this would, it would move really slowly. It would be insane against, like, bosses, because of how you have a uh, pretty strong dark attack nuts. stat right now, and it's, like, grim and stuff. Yeah, these are Dark Nuts. <laughs> yeah, they are called Knights as well, so... Definitely, especially Dark Knights. Yeah. Uh, oh, I should mention, Brim is inherently piercing. You don't need to go behind them with Brim. You oh, can just okay. shoot straight through them. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and spend a bomb to get three bombs. Mm -hmm. For a second there, I'm like, can I, you know, be smart and combine this with blowing up a wall? But they're <laughs> all open, so... Uh, nope. Nope. Oh my god. <laughs> Conga line. <laughs> I like the conga line of assholes. Is that a fucking human <clears throat> centipede? Well, they're at least not actually surgically attached together. Flatworm. Wider tears increased now. Ooh, <laughs> that sounds fun. With brim. Huh. Uh, I feel like that didn't really make a difference. Let's see. Okay, if I'm in the corner and shoot it, it goes to there in the corner and shoot it. That looks exactly the same. It increases yeah. knockback, so I'd be trading knockback for flies. I. That's only if fly enemies. Yeah, so... knockback sounds more useful. Okay. Uh, Ooh, fortune telling machine. This has a chance of giving you a fortune cookie style nonsense thing. Yeah. Uh, or soul hearts or trinkets, which are the things at the bottom left. I mean, sure, I've got some money. I um, like fortune telling machines, yeah. What is that room I didn't check? Hold on. Uh, I think it's just more of a... Oh, no, it's a, it is a dead end, because you use like and see forever, so it's just... I don't know. Whoa, it's not... Oh. No, I always, I always get confused. I can see forever just shows you secret room. That's okay. Oh, no, because you got... Oh. Didn't you get treasure map? Oh, no, because you couldn't, it. because you had 14 coins, right. Now the game's giving you bombs. Uh, okay, I'll, you know, hold on. There, I guess. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I wish I could do just a really small shitty beam by tapping, but yeah, it would be nice. Uh, That's the one downside of Bram is it's kind of all or nothing. Look yeah. careful here; these these will suck you in. Yeah, that's why I went quick. <laughs> What are you? Picked up of a 50% chance. I mean, that's not bad. I'd good. rather spend my money on the fortune machine, though, I think. Fair, uh, yeah. Especially because you're kind of low on health. I take the alternate strat. And push yeah. the foot it. Alright. Being too twitchy with that can, be, can make it harder to control. I usually sort of try to go at a at a medium pace, and just kind of swerve it and stuff. I'm going fork in the road. Take it. You're playing it wrong. Give me the controller. Nice. I'm um, hold on. So I had there was an item I left somewhere that was a heart refill plus an extra That's heart container, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, right. We haven't run into anything that would let me spend red hearts unless I get another devil room, which apparently I can. I thought it was only one per run. Uh, there might be like a. Here's the thing: is um, if you if you go there now as you are, you only have the one red heart. You might not like. Yeah. It might be tricky. I'm so just trying to think: I is there any reason for me to not pick this up immediately? And I don't think there is. No, no, I don't think so. I would say get it. <laughs> There's the one oh, that you hate. I don't hate it. I just think it's very weird and stands out from the rest of them. Oh, I forgot I can give you cards. So, speed up, invincibility, that's cool. Temporarily. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's a that's a boss fight card, if I ever saw one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That or, um, 
Devil uh, beggars. Sun, full health, 100 damage. Oh boy. It's another boss one. I guess I'd probably keep Chariot over Sun. Oh, this also has map effect. What the hell? So it's just yeah. it's just a straight just straight up better version of this. Yeah, not all items are created equal. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, um, I would dude. actually say that Sun is Sun is primarily best used as a full heal. If you have a lot of red hearts, it's like a hundred damage dude. is really not that much. I could spawn another fortune machine. You could. <laughs> uh, if you did that, you'd probably want to spawn it next to the current one. So that you can right. blow them up with the same bomb. Okay. If uh, if you uh, if you get done with them. Wheel of fortune. Wheel of fortune. Between the two, the fortune machine is probably fortune a better. Fortune machine, absolutely. Right? The slot machine is shit. Like. Okay. How long is this? When damaged, sound a half heart or less. Oh, that sounds not. <laughs> it's a you know it's a get out of jail card, but it might throw you into more enemies. So. Mm. It's it's yeah no. <laughs> Because then you're going to have to probably come back to the room anyway. 10% chance It'll for be... the room clear reward to be a card. I mean, I have enough fucking cards as it is. Mm -hmm. Bonus card from the chest. And... <laughs> Does I it... guess you could temporarily hold that when you blow these machines up. Oh, is this a trinket? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, fortune telling machines drop soul hearts, cards, trinkets, and bullshit fortune cookie tickets. Uh, I like... I. I'm stuck with like... You know, it, it's like when Pokemon has four move so more four moves <laughs> syndrome or whatever, where it's like you know, there's a couple of these that I want, but I can't have all of them. And I'm like, do I want to even keep putting money into this thing if it's just going to keep giving me more options? Like, but... yeah, I think it's worth it. I usually do it. Okay. <laughs> Wait, is that? <laughs> it's literally the same fucking thing. <laughs> Unless hold on, is knockback a stat on the left? No. So I don't know which one is better, but whatever. Um, I can check. Beans. Oh, boy. Uh, I mean, I don't have those, I don't think, so. <laughs> uh. All right. Nope. Uh, I'm just going to fucking blow up this machine. Wait. Oh, no. I was going to say hold the uh, Ace of Spades when you do that, but whatever. Uh... Uh, what would you recommend that I take with me, the sun or the chariot? Uh, I mean, I would take the chariot to the boss room, and then potentially come back for something here. Okay. Actually, I have a third of a chance of getting a devil room. It might be a good idea to save the thing for that, and then try to, um... What do you mean? Like, if there's a devil beggar in there, you could, uh, spend... You could activate it without ah. spending any actual health. Okay, so I guess take the chariot. Well, no, take the because if you leave the boss room after the rune spawns, then um, it will uh, it, it has a strong chance of disappearing. I don't know what the chance is. Well, I I knew that, but I thought that yeah, whatever. Um, should I get that other item that I left behind or wait? Uh, I would get it now. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, boss time. I'm going to predict. Where are we? Deaths one. Fuck if I know. If you hold tab, I should tell you. Yeah. I will guess that we just get war. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Uh, red fires will shoot at you. This guy's a second phase attack pattern is very weird. He just kind of walks towards you and sometimes goes, "Oh no." <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? You have oh. rated manageable. Oh, I thought it got rid of my brim. I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like really scared that I did a stupid. No. Nah. Okay. Um, I guess just move on, or should I go back and get the sun? Um, I would spend the chariot to head into the curse room without taking damage, oh, okay. and then go get the sun. What would it be like if a piece of cheese came out of your nose and then there was pie? What would it be like if there was a sandwich in your sauce? Alright, um... The chariot. Oh, oh what? I thought that would fucking yeah. protect me from it. Uh, you left the room. 
Oh, okay. I thought it was just on a timer. Oh, well. Um, this sounds fine. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Sure. Also, I made a mistake when I was describing the tears stat last time. Um, I said it was the size of the tears. This is not accurate. It is how frequently. It's your fire rate. Um, is there a thing that is the size of the tears? Uh, I thought I remembered that being the case, but I'm not sure. Sun. I mean, there's stuff and... that says, like, makes your tears wider. But... So, is this just a passive item, or? Ace of spades. Yeah. It's a trinket. Like oh, right. one there. Okay. Yeah, I figure I probably want to keep this then. I always like the ones that make your beam wiggly. They're interesting. If true. Uh, you have a lot of bonds. Probably worth checking for super secret. Um, oh yeah. Well, I suspect it is. It's most likely to the right of that long room over on the right side. Okay. Oh right, that thing down there was the regular secret room. Yeah. Careful, those are fire poops. Uh, they will damage you if you touch them. Oh, well, it's not there. Um, yes, they will. Okay, Down next most likely... Item room? No, it can't be there. Item room is considered a dead end. Okay. Um, so you can't have stuff... Like, you can't have another dead end from a dead end. Um, Shit, would it be... Up or left from one of these? Uh, Yeah, it could be. Here's the trouble, is once you start getting away from the uh, boss room, there's a lot of possibilities. Oh my god. Oh boy. Okay, um... I think, <laughs> there's, only two other I think there's only two other... Oh no, there's like three other possibilities. Yeah. Up to you if you want to keep trying. Or if you want to just cut your losses. Oh! <laughs> You're lower on keys now, so like... I'd be basically getting rid of all my keys. I can open, like, the item room on the next floor, and then that's it. To be fair, that is the last item room. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, the item rooms stop after depths, too. Okay. So, so it could up be from up here. from yeah, yeah. Or up from the room to the left. Oh, no, it can't no. be that. Okay. It can't be in the it shop, right? It can't be from the shop, no. <laughs> this thing's fucking suck. Um, so there's one other possibility, which is... Uh, yeah, I think you see it. Right from here. Uh, no, go back up. Ah. Right from here. No. What? Uh, okay. Can it not be the, the vertical room? Um, no, this because is... this is considered a thin room. Um... This right, is... let me check the rules. This must be one of those weird cases where it's... <laughs> uh, I've wasted okay. so many fucking bombs. And keys. I, there might just be one that I didn't check. And like... No, or like, I don't think so. I like, put the bomb in the wrong place or something. I don't fucking know. Give me a sec. Alright, I will wait. Okay, so we're just stupid. Um, yeah, as I'm sure, <laughs> as I'm sure people realized, uh, we've found both these secrets on the floor already. I <laughs> was thinking that the one on the very bottom of the map got uncovered by something because it was the secret, and I've seen a couple things pop up say uncovers everything except the super secret. I didn't mm. notice that we had already found the. I saw secret, there was a room so. down there, and somehow I wasn't registering anyway. it as being the thing we were already looking for. Yeah. So. Eh, so, waste of bombs, but... <laughs> Here's another thing you can waste bombs on. Oh. I say waste, it's probably not a... I think, I think this can be yeah, a good okay. thing? I don't know. That's a weird room. I think that leads to a bedroom. Um, what? <laughs> the room to the left, the bombable plank door. Okay. You can place two bombs to open this. I think this will be a bedroom. Yeah. So, wait, 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 wait. I'm not doing um, anything I believe... yet, I'm just saying what it is. I believe if you touch a bed, it will fully heal you. Oh, okay, it doesn't do anything if you, um... Okay. okay. You can also bomb the carpet, and there's a chance of there being a crawl space under it. What does the mirror do? 
I think if you touch that, it resets your appearance. So, you know, like, items will change your appearance. I think it'll reset that. Oh, okay. So nothing important. Yeah. Cool. Hey, oh, awesome. pills. Oh, and pills. Heart container Ooh. slows everything. Okay. Well, right. I guess Popeye can see forever. Yeah. I can see forever. Forever. Uh, I like the way he I'll grab. Th I'm trying to think. No like reason. I don't. I don't know the meta, so like I don't know if there's a reason to save this. I don't. I don't think there's a reason to save it. Like okay. I'm thinking of right now. Like maybe there's a niche case. But... This one I'll save for later, I guess, and then come back for the card for the boss or something. Sounds good to me, boss. Right. Ooh, we got one that's leading to a uh, secret shop. Hmm. Careful, that'll take you down All right. Uh, huh. Oh boy, Wishbone. So, uh, unfortunately you have the curse that is obscuring what items are, which means that uh, you can't tell what any of this shit is. Oh, I it's thought that was pretty just risky. Nope. Uh, that's not... Usually the shop will show... The secret shop will show you what, uh, what stuff is. It's just you have a curse active yeah. at the moment. Um... I mean, so hold on, does this take away the container completely, or just drain it hard? Um, takes away the container, it's like a double deal. Okay, yeah, so not entirely worth it. Uh, this I, this is a trinket, right? I'd replace my snake. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's fucking weird. Okay, whatever. <laughs> uh, figure I should use this. Uh, up to you, you'll... I feel I like think... I can get my hearts back. Yeah, and I think you can even come back here if you want. So... Card A. Mm. Flight. That's pretty nice. Ooh. Oh my god. Yeah, if you're since you're in normal mode, he should have a decent chance of giving you a good payout eventually. That is crazy good trinket. 5% chance shoots homing sticky tears. Yeah, okay. It's a little less good when your fire rate He's is lower. He's got so much like... shit surrounding him. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta learn to navigate around items sometimes. What is that? Uh... Oh my god. Ooh. That'd be nice to take him to the boss or something. Oh boy. Okay, I think he will probably pay you out in the next couple of hits. If you keep, if you do it. No? Still? Uh, well, you don't know what it is. There's a small chance it could be negative, but it's probably beneficial, so I would say take it. And pedestals are always going to be an active or the... Or a passive. Okay. The things on the right, yeah. And it'll swap with whatever I have, right, if it's an active, yeah. so... Yeah, if okay. it's an active, it will do that. The pack Damaging is gears. a great item. Okay. Nice. Tears up is nice because yeah you're gonna fire a little. Okay, a little so possible. how much shit am I balancing here? I've got I'm drowsy, <laughs> which honestly it currently doesn't sound that helpful. No, it's it's not great. I'd take oh. uh, the double card. Yeah, nose goblin is probably the best trinket in the game. I am a damn it. Okay. Flight for the room. <laughs> there's, there's probably some obscure. Try to remember I have it of. in case I need it for something. I this, will say nose goblin is one of the this best. This skips just, like, the boss trinket. and goes straight to the next floor, right? Yep. When did I get I two curse shards? Please. You got that from the pack. It didn't tell you that it was going to give you two curse shards or whatever they're called, but yeah. I could use this to get my oh, health back too if oh. I need it. Yeah, exactly. Okay. That's that's the best the benefit of the sun. Uh, let's see, arcade. I know. Oh, it's... Yeah, arcades have like a chance to spawn if you have five or more coins at the start of the floor or something. Um, are they just slot machines? They're basically for it's slot machines, it's beggars, it can be fortune machines. There's other things know you can unlock. It's it it can be good for grinding stuff out if you have a good means of getting like money or health back. Picking up beggars. Yeah. Um. Oh my god. Um, again, it's tiny chance it's a bad thing, but yeah. probably beneficial, so... Oh, well... What is this? Um, if you if you pick up the other thing again... Causes a big explosion... This does damage you. Notice the quality zero. Yeah, okay. 
<laughs> um, let's see. Um, I feel like I'm, I'm just right. leaving shit like everywhere on this floor. Th this happens. I have Get so many fucking Zolowski. cards. Yeah. Um, if you got, uh, I was trying to say, um, the curse room might be connected to a uh, secret room. I'm sorry, I'm not looking at what you're saying at all. Um, ah, shame you can't get in there. Uh, okay, those are pause. Uh, I don't know how. Okay. okay. Like, um, I don't know what I just did. I think I spent a coin. So you know orange fires, oh. red fires shoot, blues are soul fires, which you have to bomb, and they have a chance of dropping soul hearts. These are sort of a cross between red and blue. They're like the blue ones, but they shoot. I have to bomb them? Yeah, but they, uh, I don't know if they'll drop anything. I don't know if purple ones can drop soul hearts. I mean, that's fine, I guess. Why did you say I can't get past them? Oh, I'm, I'm saying the item in the middle is blocked by blocks. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, why are there more exits here? Um, also, these don't seem to be shooting. Anymore. I don't know. That happens sometimes. Oh, of course you took. I can see forever. You know where the. Never mind. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so um, those are just normal rooms. I thought this was like going off the map. No, that uh, that that is a thing that can happen. Yeah. But um, <laughs> it requires very specific items to do. Okay, so anyway, what were you saying before? Uh, I was wrong. For one thing, that you can't get up from here. For another thing, it... I was trying to say there could have been the seeker room there, but no, it wasn't possible, and the game would have told you. So okay. I, I was just wrong. <clears throat> oh, what? How did you not get both of those? That's a little stupid. Uh, might as well. It's a 25% chance, so I guess that tracks. In hard mode, it's a 10% chance. Oh, Careful, there's purple bullet. Ooh. Purple bullets home in. Balls of steel. You're almost at a uh, full health there. Uh, or full, like. Oh. Pain and nasty. <laughs> mm. I could have tried to be like, oh, be careful because he has any of those. Oh no, undiluted booba shooper. Ooh, devil beggar. You can bomb that rock and then get in there with, um... I have a flight card. That's true. Um, okay, what I would do, it. this is dumb, I would dr bring the flight, flight card here, drop it here, and then come back with the sun, so you can go over there and then refill your health and then okay. do it. Okay. <laughs> uh, would the flight card also allow me to get that item that was in the purple fire room? Yes, actually, that's probably a better use of it. Because you can just um, because you can just diagonally go through spikes to get to Devil Beggar. Okay. Um, Do we want to like pause while you go set that up? <laughs> no, I'm thinking I, I kind of probably want to check the shop first. Uh, you won't be able to buy a, a 15. 15 cent item, but yeah, okay. Yeah, let me go deliver items. Mm -hmm. All right, antics have occurred. So first, let me get. Hanged man, see what this item is. The hanged man. Missing page. Let me double check that. I know that's decent, at least. Missing page two. Plus one black heart. If the total sum of all of your health is at one heart after taking damage, you, the Necronomicon effect will activate, dealing 40 damage to the entire room. And then also it doubles all black heart and Necronomicon damage to 80. Alright, see, so yeah, I just try to try to weave in that. Yeah. Uh. Two of hearts will multiply the health you have, so I would take the sun first, <laughs> then oh um, use it. I'm like terrified. You're, to you're, move you're perfectly fine. Don't don't move. Just use yeah. the sun. Okay. The now sun. don't. Now I would pick up the other card. Or, okay, I guess just walk into him. Okay. okay. And then you'll <laughs> want to use this when you're at a heart and a half. Right? Yeah, okay. 
Well, oh. after. The, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> never mind, I guess. Black powder. Eh, this item is very mediocre. Um, this is, uh, draw a circle with it on the ground. Oh, it's this thing. Which creates an AoE. Yep. Eh, yeah. Alright. <laughs> it's not hurting anything, I guess. Oh, these are bonfires. Um, let's see if I can get them both here. Cool. Oh, I will say you wasted half a heart there because of, um... Ah. Uh, yeah. I forgot there was a limit. There is a way to increase the limit. Um, I want to say murder. it's... I want to say it's, like, Maggie's birthright or something. There was a bomb bomb up here, I think. Uh, yeah, it's, Mag it's Maggie's uh, birthright. What were you looking for, sir? There's a bomb bomb. I don't know if I'll make use of it or not, but it's there. Um, oh, yeah. Not usually worth it. We were also told the key bomb is not usually worth it. I maintain that if you have a shit ton of keys and nothing to spend it on, then it's not bad, but eh, there was a good point made about, like, locked chests having good stuff in them, so... Is there a secret... super secret room over there? Oh, is that what that is? Okay. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's something. <laughs> Alrighty, um, oh. I didn't realize this is a room I hadn't cleared out yet. So, this floor has had, like, a menagerie <laughs> of ways that I could spend shit to get other shit. There was the arcade, there's, like, bums all over the place. Like, yeah. Careful before you go in the bus, this will, uh, this will be mom and you won't be able to leave unless you teleport, so... Okay. If you if you have any unfinished business, do it now. Um, like for example, if you want to check the shop, if you want to go to the arcade to try to make some money. Yeah, let's try the arcade. I guess. See if I can at least hit fifteen. I mean, there was also a machine there, but yeah, let's see. So this you can is spend hearts, spend hearts to get money, to... which is yeah. Yeah, I. I would I would recommend it. Yeah. Don't use two of hearts yet. I would um just use the pickups you have. So it might be a better time to uh I don't think I meant to grab that heart there, but that works I guess. Uh no it worked out fine. Oh, this is also the last floor that there'll be a shop, so um excess money should probably be given to donation machine. Ooh. Okay. Would you recommend using the card now, then, or...? No. No? I'd wait until you really need it, in this case. Well, doesn't it double what I have, and this is...? Yeah, but, like, there might be, a, there might be like, I don't know, another Devil Beggar on the next floor. Or, on the, or in the Devil Room or something. That'd be a better time to use it. Okay, so just ig ignore this, then, and...? Yeah. Yeah, I think you have enough money now. Alright, let me go check the shop. I feel like once again I'm going absurdly slow. I I I should probably just do shit instead of constantly asking for advice. But <laughs> that's fine. You still winning. know a lot more than I do. So yeah. random item oh. for ten coins. So oh boy, you may as well. Well, all your pills are good. So this is better than the coin thing. Yeah. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> What does that do? Just make and everything just slow. Those enemies or some shit. Let me check. Pill. I mean, I'll just, I'll just, just fucking use it. Whatever. I'm drowsy. Is. Uh, I kind of want to just use it. Applies the stopwatch effect, slowing all enemies, Isaac, and the background music, as well as additionally playing slow status effect on any every enemy for the duration of the room. It's only yeah, the it's one fine. room. Okay. Blue map, I believe, is an I'll, item that shows you the... I'd rather have the two of hearts. Yeah. Blue map shows you the position of secret room and super secret room every floor, but doesn't show you the full map. Okay. So they'll just be floating until you, like, find... connect the rooms to them. Good. Alrighty. Alright, on time. Yeah. Isaac! Isaac! Which I had I believe a this will bit be of a rough time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. You actually have good items this time. Uh, I can't charge uh. my shit! 
try not to get yourself in dead ends. Oh, careful, careful. Okay, um, don't grab that secret heart until you're ready to leave. Grab this, I think this will be Polaroid. Oh, no, 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 mind. No. Okay. And double room up at the top, which is So don't easy. grab the sacred heart yet? Yeah, don't grab that yet. Oh, boy. Oh, I forgot about this. Yeah. Um, let me check. You've already <laughs> gotten brimstone, so the two, the two heart thing definitely isn't that. Um... Double room item pool. Let's see, what could it be? It could be Satanic Bible, unless you have to unlock that. I can't remember. Which is... Um, I'm just gonna say it. fuck it and go. I'm just gonna... Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's perfectly I'll, I'll, I'll buy this one. That's a really good, that's a really good one. It's probably uh, one of the best ones it could have been. Oh, wait, it gave me more black hearts, too. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, I've only got Save. one red heart left. Is there even a point to saving it at this point? I would say so. Okay. I mean... Well, wait, no, because I'm going to pick up the sacred heart and get that for the next floor, so... That's true, actually, yeah. Go ahead and pick one, then. I'm going to go with right. Eh. <laughs> that lets you skip a floor. It's kind of... Yeah. Yeah, I'll keep the pills. Um, now, you could then spend three soul hearts to nah. check out. Nah. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> nah. Uh, I think we're good here. I've been on this floor yep. for like a fucking year, so. Alright. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is this two of hearts right. card actually gonna do anything now that I don't have red hearts? Uh, not really. I probably should have replaced it. Oh, well. Well, mm, oh, well I have one now. I still I can use it to refill a half heart. Yeah, but that's not going to happen. Because starting from this floor, uh, everything does one heart of damage instead of half a heart. Mm, cool. When you get hit, so you essentially have half health now. Do I know what this pill is? It's not nope. letting me. Actually, oh, that's the what the question tell you. It's, is, I see. It's because, it's because the spikes are in the way, I think. Health up. Uh... Nope. Nope. You uh, will eat one of your black hearts. Okay. Shit! Fuck. Oh, well, now I guess you can use it. Oh my god. The problem is the weaving into the spikes. Uh, health. And then just oh, use the heart and then. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get hit again. Okay. Well, that was some shit. I think, um. <laughs> I think uh, being able to weave between spikes is actually originally a glitch in Flash Isaac. I might be wrong about that, but it was definitely left in on purpose, at least. Yeah, fortunately, you do have a really strong uh, yeah. blast here. Uh, nope. So be really careful to not get cornered. It's yeah. hard to deal with. Bottle of pills. Yeah. Ancient Recall card. I don't actually know what that what does. Oh, you use you use two of hearts instead of the pills. God damn it. Okay. What do you say when you want the tears down? I guess I should say it the other way around. I should I should be like, what do you say when you want the tears up? And then he goes, tears up. <laughs> well, tears up is nice at least. The the two of hearts was doing me basically no good, right? I didn't really lose much by using that. Yeah, no. Not really. Some good faces on this. <laughs> Did you see that one of your beans broke off to like home in on the enemy? That was, uh, I believe, Nose Goblin. I did crazy. not notice it. <laughs> because I am done and bad. I will say, um, these, there's not much that these rooms can be. They can be some stuff, but there's no item room for shops, so it's only gonna be just enemies and bullshit, or occasionally maybe like... I like enemies and bullshit. Something. Oh wait, no, not really. It's also a way of recharging a special item, I guess. Oh yeah. yeah. My god. But especially, yeah, but especially right, you know, when stuff deals a whole heart of damage to you, it's kind of risky to explore wound floors. I often don't bother, honestly. And yet but here I am doing it anyway, because I'm stubborn. Don't know if it'll pay off, but I'm already dedicated to doing it at this point. 
Careful, these grow back. Yeah, I know. Oh boy, polycephalus. Cephalosaurus. That could pop up anyway. Yeah. When he's doing that, you want to constantly move. Because otherwise he could pop up underneath you. Pop up video. Careful, those things shoot homing lasers. Well, thankfully they died instantly. I didn't even get to see what they were. So you telling <laughs> me that will not give me any future information. They, were, they are eyeballs in the floor. Uh, eh, there's a chance. Yeah, could be. Cool. Bombs? I like the rage comic face on these things. Yeah. Um, so anyway, but before you do this, if you sort of plant a bomb, uh, and then nudge it next to and then nudge it, yeah, you'll be able to get all four. Cool. Spiders. Hmm. If they're blue, they're friendly. Yeah, I know. All right. Uh, super secret is the only thing left. I believe. There's a lot of places it could be. I think. Eh, yeah, it's not that many. I'll check like a couple of them. Yeah. I'm surprised, uh, unless I'm forgetting something, I don't think I've left any pills or cards around, so all I have is this shitty drowsy pill. Um, <laughs> well, might help against the boss. It could be here, right? I'm gonna guess, yeah, it could be here. I'm gonna guess the boss will be Mr. Fred. Oh my. Uh... <laughs> Here's the unfortunate thing, is you could push those chests into the, uh, the TNT to blow them up. But, oh. Uh, you can push them together to blow them up with one bomb. Yeah. And they're the, yeah. Yeah, I was a little trigger happy there. Yeah. I probably should have thought Yeah, the, the, the red fires are something to be feared, so. They're dumb and should be hated. Yes. That's a lot of shit. Okay. Oh, well, we never put money in the donation machine, did we? Oh. No, I did. Oh, okay. Well, we didn't do it, though. <laughs> oh, right, because I'm too stupid to know about stuff. Okay. See, I'm going to guess Mr. Fred. Nope. Was that like a... Just like an upgraded pin. There was like a purple one. Was that like a legendary enemy? Or whatever they're called? Good boss. Champions, cool. Ooh, yeah. synth oil. And, Range is uh, pretty much on we go. Thing, but is this the last one? This will be, yeah. The lack of music is slightly concerning. No, there is music, it's just ambient. Those are one charge each, right? I, they might be, I'm not sure. It's one or two. I have to oh, keep remembering what though. button is what. Yeah, I'm sorry. Hmm. You're a fast little fucker. <laughs> Blah! Blah! Yeah, plenty of bonds probably worth. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, we'll come back for it, I guess. Yeah, come back when it's when you got an empty. Uh... Yeah. You're charging relatively fast now, which is nice compared to before. It's still it's still slow. Don't get me wrong, but it's faster than it was. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Was that Bomberman? I couldn't even fucking tell. Yeah, yeah, that was an upgraded version of Bomberman. <laughs> Alright. Coins. Kay. High Priestess is good for the boss. Pills. Balls of steel. Alright. Mm -hmm. Um, let me go yeah. get that recharge. Mm-hmm. Moving on up in the world. 48 hour energy. Another fucking drowsy pill, really. 
Alright. Whatever. Oh, wait. Fuck it, I'll just use <laughs> my gun. Yeah. Range up. Alrighty. Um, I could probably just go straight to the boss once I find it. Yep. I'd say so. <clears throat> God, it's so satisfying just melting through enemies with the brim. Slide through a row of enemies, that's so much fun. <laughs> I don't know why I quote that, just, I think Jordan for thought some it reason, was funny. For, for some reason I'm reminded of, we don't, uh, no, 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 but like, whatever it was. Honeycomb's big, yeah, 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 it's not small, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, that does it. <laughs> I, I like this. Okay, I can, I can move him, that is good to know. Oh, it's bullshit. And now it's dead. You know, it never occurred to me until that moment why it is that you can push the deactivated spike things. <laughs> I guess that's why. Yeah, that could have been kind of trash. Though I guess I could have left and come back, so whatever. It probably would have been possible for a room type to generate the traps you, though, if not for that. Blah. Yeah. Yeah. You can shoot these when they're, like, just a poking out, I think. Range up. Does range up actually do anything for Brim? No. I've been saying that. <laughs> okay, I've not been listening, apparently. But, no reason not to pick it up, I guess. Uh. Okay. <laughs> 48 hour energy. Oh my god. I think you already used it this full of that's fine. My god! <laughs> Game! What is this? <laughs> Game! What is this? No. I don't know if you heard it, but when you when you take I found pills, Isaac just makes a butt noise. Good. The little boot fish. I love the pork meat, the gromlins. All I do is win. We're gonna come back. I will become back my money. Hold of that man. That is the hip thing to say when the game screws you over. When this game screws you over, it's from a copy pasta of some guy that got mad when Repentance came out because he didn't like it. With this and being the really... last floor, this doesn't do anything for me unless I happen to find another one, right? It's technically well, it's actually an extra hit because if you get hit when you when it's okay. like your right so it'll t it'll be half it'll half cover a blue and then when I get hit, I'll still have the full blue. No, it will, it will half cover a red, actually. It goes to your highest red, unless you have no reds, and it goes to your first non-red. Okay, that thing just looked like Ding Dong. Also, at this point, I'm just <laughs> yeah, kind of clearing out all the rooms anyway. Yeah, there's any more for. These will shoot lasers. Shoot. Yeah, not lasers. Alrighty. Uh, so we melt in the boss. I, I'm, I'm, okay, I will say, I'm drowsy, because it lost for the room, might actually be better, because it will help, it'll make the boss easier, because it's, I would not describe it as bullet hell, but it's, like, in that direction. Yeah, it's I'm like expecting to game. melt it, but let's, I guess. You probably will anyway, melt it, yeah. but. Alright, ready to break your mom's heart? Oh, you constantly move. These things shoot homing lasers. But it's not homing, but they, like, charge at you. Yeah. yeah. Oh. It shouldn't be spawning any more of those eyes from now on. Oh yeah, I feel good destroying this thing. So like, it, you can see where the gaps in this are, but it can be a little tricky if you need to. Yeah. Alright, there you go. Alright, that was a run. It took, a little, yeah, about hour 15 minutes. Hour 10. But... So... I have to do that ten times to get more mm -hmm. floors. Is that right? Yep. Yep. Wow. All right. They yeah, said yes. Double check. Ah, this is how you unlock Eden. I see. Okay. Wow, spoilers. <laughs> So obviously I'm not doing another run like immediately. Oh, sorry. In the same if you, video, if you, but... sorry, you beat it once and that unlocked Eden, and then if you beat it ten more times, so it's actually eleven total times, Fuck then it'll Christ. be replaced where it lives. <laughs> okay. 
random oh, stats, yeah. so, huh? So Eden, yeah, Eden has random stats, starts with a random passive item and a random active item. And um, you can and only use costs, it when you have tokens. a token. You get a token by beating Mom's Heart or it lives. Interesting. Okay, so I, was that the only one I unlocked? I still have... That's the only one you... Oh, no, you unlocked Eve as well. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I don't know what those items are. But... I'll explain them next time. Yeah. Okay, um... Yeah, again, I I feel like, you know, I was slow, but it went okay. Um, yeah, hopefully good. it was okay to watch. Uh, at this point, I do not necessarily plan to show every run on screen, but, I mean, I will at least for, like, new characters. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure something yeah. out. Um, and then beans, probably. <laughs>